Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I know, I know there's been a lot of videos on my channel this, well, today. The drink. So today, as you can see by here, I am showing you the Beauty and the Beast soundtrack. 2017 edition. What the heck was that? I've already got the original soundtrack. But I needed the live action. I just needed it, you guys. I just literally needed it. So it says Beauty and the Beast. Music by Alan Menken. Lyrics by Howard Ashman and Tim Rice. Um, featuring Emma Watson, Dan Stevens, Luke Evans, Kevin Klein, and Josh Gad. Got Emma Watson, or Belle. And then Dan Stevens, aka The Beast. The Beast was well CGI'd. He would have freaked me out as a kid. If this movie came out when I was little... I'm pretty sure I would have been terrified of this movie. Because <laughs> it looks so terrifying. It does. He actually does look terrifying in this one. But in the original, he just looks gorgeous. Let me just get the DVD. Oh, break it in Here he is in the um, DVD. He looks so adorable. He looks like a dog. He, act he actually does look like a cute little dog. Um, and I've just wrecked everything up, apparently. <laughs> what was that? This one, he looks terrifying. Um, yeah. Good job this didn't come out when I was little. Otherwise, I would have hated this movie, like, from my heart. Just saying. Beauty and the Beast. And it has... Oh, my God, look at Emma Watson's dress. I want that dress. I literally want that dress. Give it to me. Give it to me. Literally. So, all the songs include Overtune, Music Title, um, Prologue, Part 1, Aria, Original Prologue 2, Belle, How Does Moment Last Forever, Music Box, Music Box, Belle Reaper Eyes, um, Gaston, Be Our Guest, wait, where's Gaston Reaper, anyway, Be Our Guest, Day Days in the Sun, Something's There, How Does a Moment Last Forever, Beauty of the Beast, Evermore, The Mob Song, Beauty of the Beast, Final, How Does a Moment Last Forever, performed by Celine Dion, Beauty of the Beast, performed by Ariana Grande, and John Legend, and Evermore performed by Josh Groban. Um, I don't know if you feel the same about this, but you know Human Again, that was deleted from the original? I think that should have been in this one, um, instead of Something's There. That's just me. Comment down below if you think that they should have done that, uh, put Human Again in this film. I mean, it's a great song. Anyway. Score album producers Alan Menken, Matt Sullivan, and Mitchell Leiben. Leiben? No idea. Excuse me, Celta album producers Bill Condon, David Hoberman, and Todd Lieberman. Um, musical supervisor Matt Sullivan. Music mixed by Frank Wolf. And I'm not gonna. You know what I mean. Let's open it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful scene. And then here's the DVD. Or the CD, I should say. So it says Beauty and the Beast. It's got a beautiful print. Scored by Alan Menken. It's by Howard Ashman and Tim Rice. Put that there. Let's look in the book. I just feel like ordering even more Disney soundtracks. Just so I can like review them on my channel. Um, Here we go. So we have... <coughs> how does the last forever how does the story never die the announcement that we are making a live action version of beauty to Bees, we met fought with the excitement and a lot of questions who well emma watson for starters <laughs> i like that the first person to think of is emma watson i like that uh if we are lucky enough to get her when it's a complicated movie, it would be probably have taken a couple of years to make. Tuned out to be the fee. Where Sullivan Studios in London. Wow, it was produced in London. I didn't know that. Filmed in London. I mean, anywhere you can literally... Uh, oh, yeah, because Emma Watson's British, isn't she? So, makes sense. If you want Emma Watson, you have to come to Britain. <laughs> you don't have to, that's just a joke. Uh, do, 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 do. Bill Condon, the director. It's very small print. Alan Menken, Tim Rice. Um, 
it's very small print, so I'm not gonna try and waste your time. Oh, look, there's Belle. Over to you. Aria. Belle. There goes her pinky winky. She's so pretty, Emma Watson. She was the perfect um, choice for Belle. Um, oh, Belle and her father. Just, oh, Josh Gad. Is it just me, or whenever Josh Gad speaks nowadays, I just think of Olaf. You know, Olaf from Frozen. I just automatically think of Olaf. Be our guest. That one, even though it's a great song, they, I don't know, I just didn't like the scene. I like the song. The song's brilliant, but I just didn't like the scene. Um, the scene was a bit off in my opinion i don't know about you but it was brilliant don't get me wrong i mean the cgi and everything like that but <clears throat> i just feel like is it just me or i feel like the characters like lumiere cogsworth and mrs potts look really creepy they just look really creepy whereas i know i said that about the beast but in the original they look so cute and adorable but now look at them I'm not saying I don't like him, but they just look terrifying to me. There's Belle. Is that Belle? Yeah, that's Belle. Um, days in the sun. Oh, look at that. Belle and Beast dancing. Oh, no, he is comfortable. The mob song. Oh, look at the Beast. Look at him. Oh, look at that scene. So beautiful, this movie. I like it. Yep. One of my favourite childhood films. We, I went to see Beauty and the Beast and Lion King in cinema. Like when they came out. Not the original because I wasn't born. When these ones came out. Sometimes I wish that I was born when the originals came, came out. Because I would have watched them in cinema and stuff like that. But it doesn't make a difference does it? Because I still watched them as a child. It's not like I didn't grow up watching them. Um, but I was... I don't know about you guys, but when the um, when Beauty and the Beast was in the cinema and I went to see it beforehand, I was thinking they better not ruin Beauty and the Beast for me. Same with Lion King, because I watched those movies constantly as a kid. I know there's other ones like The Jungle Book that's come out that are okay, that are brilliant as well. There's some that are really weird, like for the live actions, for the remakes. Um, but honestly, Beauty and the Beast is the best one that's come out to. As, as of April 2021. I mean, there's more coming out, so I might like something else better than this one. Highly doubt it, though, because... I don't know. So, yeah, that is my last video of... Um, not the day, because I still have some more unboxings to do, but of DVDs this, next time. So, if you haven't checked out my last videos, go and check them out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.